By 1861, the year the Union split and led to civil war, Jefferson Davis had already lived over half a century. Those 53 years were not spent, though, as a radical or rebel, fire eaters they were called. Instead, Jefferson Davis lived as a patriot of the United States of America and as a firm advocate of the Union. It's almost as if he were, in the average American's mind, born in 1861 out of nowhere and the idea that there was a Davis before and a Davis after simply does not exist. Jefferson Davis went from being the South's greatest statesman in the Union to the appointed leader of the Confederate States of America. His uncompromising principles and unwavering devotion to the cause led the Confederacy through its formation and four long and painful years of war. With the same tenacity he fought to keep the United States together, Davis struggled to keep the Confederate States alive. In the face of all that was lost, Jefferson Davis would go on. He would live another quarter century as president of an extinct nation, a man without a country, and an exile on his native ground. He was an example of a man who never gave up. In some ways, that's the essence of the American spirit. He faced obstacle after obstacle. He was beaten down time and time again. He is a man who went from the top to see the very bottom of his life, and he never quit, and he died, I think, at peace with himself. <laughs> 